Slovakia is a joy to discover because it is located in the geographic middle of Europe. Its breathtaking terrain conceals crumbling castles and medieval villages, as well as a wealth of intriguing historical sites and cultural attractions for you to explore. Due to its strategic location, the country has been conquered and ruled by the Mongols, Hungarians, Ottomans, and Czechs. Slovakia only became a nation for the first time in 1993. 90% of the population is stated to reside in their own homes, and they enjoy a high level of living. This nation is renowned for its tranquility and civil liberties. The cities in this region are well-planned, and the structures and small roads show the city's deep artistic, cultural, and historical influence. This country is also well-known for its mountainous terrain and the hundreds of caves that contain prehistoric writing. There are nine national parks in total which together occupy 6.5% of the country's total land area. Slovakia is home to many different animals, including several endangered species, and it has a rich biodiversity. Here is the video showcasing the best things to see and do in Slovakia. Whether you are almost ready to travel there or are just looking for inspiration. 1. Bratislava Castle This might be the finest spot to go if you're looking for the top attractions in Bratislava, Slovakia. This tiny town is home to a stunning ghostly castle. The 10th century saw the construction of this castle, which is situated on a plateau. This enormous antique structure has four long towers surrounding it and is practically rectangular in shape. Visitors who are more interested in arts and culture will find this location worthwhile. You can obtain a breathtaking view of the city from the castle's summit, which is great for watching sunsets. The Bratislava Castle is one of the most popular tourist destinations in the city and is perched atop a remote rocky hill. The Slovak National Museum branch, located inside the castle, welcomes visitors to explore the collections and stroll through the gardens. 2. Spish Castle Spish Castle's extensive remains encompass a huge area of land, towering over the village of Spiške Podoradia from atop a hill. Being one of the largest castle complexes in all of Central Europe shouldn't come as a surprise as a result. The mind is blown by the size and scope of everything as one wanders around the castle's numerous walls, fortifications, and towers. Spish Castle, once the principal seat of authority in the vicinity, is now one of Slovakia's most visited tourist attractions. Once you get close to the castle and can actually see some of its impressive features, it is simple to understand why. Despite being in ruins, the castle's remnants still resolutely overlook the surrounding countryside and command attention with their commanding presence. 3. Slovak Paradise National Park The Slovak Paradise National Park is a breathtakingly gorgeous area of the country to explore. Deep gorges, valleys, and rivers cut through the limitless trees on display. It encompasses a wide variety of wild and challenging terrain. Wherever you walk, the scenery is incredibly breathtaking. Hidden among the lush vegetation are glittering waterfalls and deep rocky gorges, with the incredible Dobshinska Ice Cave among its primary draws. It's a real treat to explore the park because of all the breathtaking natural sights and a variety of paths and trails wind through the magnificent Slovak Paradise mountain range. You occasionally have to climb steep ladders that hug the cliff face and cross flimsy bridges that sway precariously from side to side. Although the Sukabela Gorge hike is particularly difficult, the scenery makes the effort worthwhile. 4. High to Tree The High to Tree offers some of the best hiking and rock climbing because they are home to the tallest mountains in the country. In the winter, there are also a ton of fantastic slopes and pists for skiing down. The beautiful mountain range is truly magnificent. Among its many slopes and valleys are hidden brilliant alpine lakes and meadows, and its rugged peaks stand up imperiously towards the heavens. The snow-capped Mount Krivon is the most recognizable summit of the high to tree, which hold a significant position in the national consciousness and are almost a national symbol. The mountain range is ideal for all kinds of outdoor activities because of its breathtakingly magnificent vistas. The views are simply out of this world, and there are many paths and trails for you to hike, bike, or ski along. 5. Devon Castle Even though Devon Castle, which is not far from Bratislava, is now largely in ruins, 
you can still see how spectacular it was when it stood guard over the capital, towering over the Danube. Oleva was first used in the 9th century. This location served as a Roman border post even before that. The Napoleonic army eventually destroyed it in 1809, after it had played a significant role in the area for centuries. Today, you can explore the castle's remains and learn more about its past, including the prehistoric eras. In the informative exhibition, this case, which is situated in Devon and is a district of Bratislava, the capital of Slovakia, is thought to have been influenced by Gothic architecture. This castle will transport you back in time because of its extensive collection of historical and cultural relics. Ancient artwork, sculptures, and paintings from the 11th to the 19th centuries can be found in the castle's upper floors in the permanent exhibit, Architectural Development of Devon Castle. 6. Grasalkovich Palace This palace, also referred to as Slovakia's White House, serves as the president of Slovakia's official residence. Its expansive French garden, one of Bratislava's most well-liked parks, is unquestionably well to visit. Concerts and festivities for the aristocratic elite were once held in this structure. For instance, this palace hosted several of Joseph Haydn's concerts, an accomplished Austrian composer. In Hadzovo Square, between the Old Town and the main train station, is the Grasalkovich Palace, also known as the Presidential Palace. It is very close to the Michael's Gate and is easily reachable on foot. A large fountain in the shape of the earth is just in front of the palace and represents freedom, a fantastic location for beautiful photos. The main gate's form and black and gold color scheme are similar to those of London's Buckingham Palace. And we have a small periodic change of the guards in the front yard too. It happens at 12 o'clock at weekdays. 7. Spania Dolina When discussing the top destinations in Slovakia, Spania Dolina is an absolute must-see. Thanks to its Gothic and Renaissance structures and recognizable wooden cottages, this medieval village is incredibly lovely. Generally exclusively known as Slovaks, Spania Dolina is a true hidden gem. Speaking of treasures, Spania Dolina used to be a mining community. In actuality, the majority of the homes there today were once homes for miners from the 17th and 18th centuries. The community also has a gorgeous church and a unique bell tower that was once used to summon miners to work in the morning. There are barely over 200 people living in this small village. The best way to experience Spania Dolina is to go along one of the many beautiful trails that begin at the parking area or guest center. You have a choice of a number of pathways, all of which will lead you through a sea of trees and flowers. You might even see some butterflies. You may even go mountain biking and cross-country skiing there if you want to have additional outdoor pleasure. We enjoyed our leisurely hour-long hike up the trail, and we were rewarded with a picture-perfect vista of the town along the way. We also noticed some people hand renovating their adorable small villas towards the trail's end. 8. Boydnes Castle One of the most well-known locations in Slovakia is the castle in Boydnes. In reality, it's one of Central Europe's most fantastical fairy tale locations, not just in Slovakia. It's not difficult to see why. This castle's picturesque facade is sure to seize your attention. The Romanesque Bodnes Castle, which dates to the 12th century, also features some Renaissance and Gothic features. The magnificent castle park that connects to the forest and the Straub Mountains is all around it. The best part of our trip was undoubtedly strolling through the castle park. The scenery is magnificent from every angle, as you get to see the castle from all various angles. The park is fantastic for picnics and is also very family-friendly. Having said that, by all means, check out the castle's inside if you're a major history enthusiast. If you aren't really interested in history and have already visited other well-known fairy tale castles in Europe, Boynton's Castle won't offer you anything particularly novel or mind-blowing. In that scenario, skipping the entrance price and simply spending more time admiring the breathtaking views from the castle park could be preferable. 9. St. Martin's Cathedral, Bratislava Looking for popular locations in Slovakia One of the oldest cathedrals still in existence in Europe is St. Martin's Cathedral, which was founded in the year 1452. This castle, 
which is part of the Bratislava Castle's western boundary, was built in the Gothic style. The coronations of the Hungarian kings and Queen Maria Theresa are among the events that have made this castle one of the most famous historical sites in Slovakia. The castle's top also has a single golden crown, which enhances its beauty. Queen Maria Theresa was crowned at Bratislava's biggest best and one of its oldest churches. In Bratislava, it is the second most well-liked tourist destination. The old town skyline is dominated by its 85 meters high spire. 10. Orava Castle Orava Castle appears impressive as it sits on a rocky hilltop surrounded by a lush forest that cascades down its steep slopes. Rolling hills can be seen in the distance, and the Orava River flows beneath the castle's commanding cliff wall. Orava Castle, one of Slovakia's most stunning castles, was constructed in the 13th century while earlier wooden palisades and defenses had previously inhabited its prominent outcrop. The castle exhibits elements of Romanesque, Gothic, and Renaissance architectural styles due to the additions and alterations made by each successive generation. Its museum contains some wonderful antiquated objects and archaeological discoveries that illustrate its lengthy history. Once you pass through its numerous gates, walls, and defenses, it is clear why the Orava Castle has remained unconquered for the many centuries that it has stood atop the bluff.